like here, have a bunch of happy, cuddly chemicals no matter what's happening, then exploring regulatory protocols affected by thesis number 29. And the most profound and incredible and life-changing, transformative, wondrous, shocking, surprising, incredible, right? The first regulatory protocol that ah, I'm too excited. Stop it. <laughs> So my consciousness has never changed. I still have all of the exact same parts of my self essence that I did when Kristen was living with adaptable consciousness condition and had over 20 different people in this brain and body. And so that's my favorite thing about this concept is that the power is so expansive. It doesn't matter who or where you are. There are potential benefits for deep transformation. Because the causality of stress isn't the situation. The causality of stress is how our brain and our body are reacting to the situation. But as consciousness teaches the brain and the body to socially engage with itself, the process of healing, internal attachments creates brand new regulatory protocols. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's crazy. It's so incredible. So as consciousness is up here just applying this idea and teaching the brain and the body to socially engage with its own being, beyond all awareness, the brain and the body are like, okay, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Okay, we got a new regulatory protocol on the respiratory system. We got a new regulatory protocol about oxygen flow. We got a new, oh, there's a new regulatory protocol that's going to improve the regulation of the heart that is beating. There's all of this stuff happening beyond awareness. And the process of that is fun and enjoyable and easy and tangible and so practical and it's just genuinely an enjoyable journey. Self-essence never changes anything about itself, yet it experiences greater depths of liberation.
the greatest benefit of this, let's see. <laughs> the greatest benefit in relation, let's see, how do I say that? <laughs> Or it can affect us more unconsciously, where there are aspects of consciousness far beyond awareness who don't know I don't know what I was just gonna say. I'm alive this weird. Being alive is fucking weird. Being alive is weird. <laughs> memory data reconstructing neural wiring from every year oh yeah, yeah. um what are they saying okay <laughs> ah i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing So quiet. <laughs> Being alive is weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I go to bed? <laughs> no, he's coming this far. Come on, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> I really don't know if I want to include that. Let's just jump into the good stuff. Okay, now let's dive into the good stuff. <laughs> The first regulatory protocol that intent. Ah, I'm too excited. Stop it. <laughs> As explored in earlier videos discussing thesis number 29, the process of. Let's see. Uh, no, man. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> I guess that's all. Mark, mark. 